We're at Thomas Foolery here in Washington, D.C. Things are looking a little bit better today. Our first stop is open with food. If there's one thing we've learned on this journey so far, it's that Bitcoiners are among some of the coolest, most creative people in their communities. Upon entering, we could not help but feel we were in a playroom built for an adult. Massive chalkboard beer menus, board games, Nintendo Wii's, a full service candy store behind the bar. All kinds of cool, funky offerings. So we've just left Tom Foolery's where we had a uh, tater tot nachos. Uh, it was a good experience actually. Uh, we're going to meet up with the, uh, the owner of CryptoAnarchy.com to get uh, a bunch of Bitcoin gear. He's got magnets and stickers and crests and t-shirts and hoodies and we're just pumped. We're going to get uh, Bitcoined out. Much like the early days transacting through local Bitcoins, today's meeting felt more like an adventure than a simple purchase. Two strangers randomly connected through Bitcoin. So we're just paying for our accommodations tonight, um, booking you know, with Expedia and show you how easy this is. So far we've been booking exclusively with Expedia. We know that CheapAir.com and there are probably some others out there also accept Bitcoin, but so far Expedia has just been so efficient we haven't even tried any other options. At the end of the 30 days we will be doing some recap videos and tutorials showing you what sites we used and showing you how we used them. So we're in downtown Washington just leaving the White House. We got there to set up a few shots and unfortunately just a little bit too dark and it's raining so we figured we'd go back in the morning uh, so we can get, you know, show you guys what we're experiencing. And uh, we've gone back in the car and we're heading over to the meetup a little bit early so that we can set up and hopefully uh, meet some really cool people tonight. Tonight was our first opportunity since the journey began to attend an official meetup. We were pleased to take any excuse to go back to Thomas Fooleries and we were happy to meet with such a diverse group of Bitcoin enthusiasts. Their wide range of interests and experience in the world of Bitcoin proved ideal. We did some great interviews and gained some valuable insights. So we just left the DC meetup and it usually goes from 6.30 till 9. We were still heavy into the conversation by 10 o'clock. Really great group, man. It was, it was really, really cool. Anyway, so we've left that. Now we're driving about a half an hour out of town uh, to go meet up with someone we met with earlier today for some gear. He's got some hoodies, some t-shirts, some hats. So, you know, we gotta go pick up the swag. Get back in around maybe after 11, quarter after 11, and we're going to go visit the first DC or Washington DC ATM, which is thankfully open 24 hours before calling it a day. It's, uh, it's been a great day. Paul from Crypto Anarchy turned out to be a wealth of information. An early adopter and entrepreneur, Paul is a true believer and advocate for cryptocurrencies and has been for quite some time. We discussed a wide range of topics while he shared with us a wide variety of Bitcoin branded apparel. As our last interview of the day, he left us with much to think about. It was interesting to speak with somebody who truly has been involved since the very beginning. Now for the breakdown. We spent 1.24 Bitcoin today, about 465 US dollars. We traveled 110 miles, about 175 kilometers. We added 15 people to our friends network and we received a whopping six new donations today. Thank you sincerely to everybody who contributed. So end of day 10 was awesome, the meetup was cool, we just went and picked up mad, mad gear. Uh, CryptoAnarchy.com hooked us up large. It's after midnight, it's been a long day, but a really great day in Washington. See you tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and join the conversation on Twitter. See you tomorrow.